Hi there, we're going to look at making a bottle straw rocket. I've got a list of equipment that you will need for your experiment uh, in order to make one, and then we're going to see who can make a bottle rocket that fires the furthest. So, you'll need some paper, sellotape, some modeling clay or some blue tack, uh, some scissors, and not least, a bottle with a cap, and we are going to put a hole in it like I've done for that already. So, the first thing, um, you're going to roll up a ball of, uh, roll up the paper into a type of straw. There's my first one. So you can use a straw or a pencil to sort of give you something to roll it around. And then off you go. And then you can use a bit of sellotape to sellotape it together. And if you use the sellotape long way, you can roll it around. Uh, so there's my inside straw made out of paper. Then I've taken another sheet of paper and rolled it around my inside straw. And again, once you have completed that, you'll notice I've cheated slightly, <laughs> voila, you have an outside straw. That's going to be my top bit. Um, and if you've made them correctly, then your inside straw should fit easily inside your outside one. Uh, you may want to pause at this point and try and make it yourself. But we're going to move on now to, once we've made our two straws, we're going to deal with the bottle. So you'll see I've made a rather an edifying attempt to put a hole in the top, which is fine. What we want to do is take the thinnest straw and we want to feed that through the bottle top. And then the modelling clay is to try and ensure that there's a tight fit between the straw that's going to go inside the bottle and the top of the bottle. I'll let you try and decide why it's worth having that seal when you do your experiment. So now we've got our straw that's going to go inside the bottle. So we feed the, uh, the larger paper straw on top. And then what I want to do is just close up this end. So again, you can use the modelling clay or just some sellotape. So there's the basics of it, and now we should be ready to fire. Put my straw on top. Your turn. Who can get there the furthest, and what would affect how far it goes? 